The Palestinians could have had yesterday a state that qualifies to 90% of their demands, both on territorial and national levels. They, can have, they could have had more than 90% of Judea and Samaria, Gaza, the recognition of the UN, and freedom. Instead of taking what they can, which is quite a bit, <coughs> which is quite a bit, and then conduct the argument in a much preferable uh, conditions, they ignored the admirable efforts of the American State Secretary John Kerry and the willingness of Israel to grant them the majority of their demands. Instead, they're claiming that if they won't get 100% of what they've asked for, they will continue to refuse fervently to establish their independent state. The one before last threat was that they will dismantle the Palestinian Authority and will promote their independence by eliminating all signs of independence. This is not good politics. This is not a way to negotiate. This is just senseless. The reconciliation agreement that was signed today between the Palestinian Authority and Hamas is even worse than that. According to this agreement, a national un unity government of the Hamas and the PLO will be established within five weeks. But Hamas is no government. Hamas is a jihadic terror organization that acts under the banner of killing civilians, children, women, old people, only because they are Jewish. If the Palestinians really want to reach an agreement with Israel and become part of the family of nations, how is it that they didn't demand from Hamas to announce it abandons the way of terror, commits not to hurt innocent people, and to obey international law. How do you want to reach an agreement with us when you just signed an agreement with the people who swore to kill us? How do you want to establish a state alongside us with these people? What kind of a state do we want to establish with them? My party believe that we have to separate from the Palestinians as fast as we can and as conclusive as we can. I do not belong to the Israeli messianic right that thinks this is, this is a struggle between their God and ours. I do not belong either to the Israeli left because we don't want a lower wall. We want a higher wall that will separate us from them, the security of the citizens of Israel and the Jewish identity of Israel are the two pillars of our world view. And the total separa separation from the Palestinians is the key for both of them. Not marriage with the Palestinians is what we seek, but a divorce. The question remains is, do the Palestinians want a state of their own? And if so, do they want to establish it alongside the Jewish state? or they have never abandoned their original vision of having a Palestinian state <coughs> instead of the Jewish state. This is the choice they have to make. And today, when they've joined Hamas, this choice has crystallized even more than ever, alongside us or instead of us. If they want to establish a state alongside us, they are most welcome. If they want to establish a state instead of us, they should know this will never happen. Thank you very much.